So, hello again. Um, we are today, we are where, Sam? Thornborough. Thornborough, and where's that? Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire, and also welcome to autumn. Officially, as you can see behind me, the leaves on the trees are uh, changing. So we have got a shorter walk today, just uh, five miles. Yeah, just five miles. Unusual for us. Um, we've been very lucky because yesterday it was chucking down with rain all day, but today it is glorious as you can see. Yeah. So a shorter walk, starting and finishing in Thornborough, a uh, circular, circular walk, of course, uh, and we will be taking a little bit of the um, uh, disused Buckingham Canal, uh, an old water mill. Um, oh, that's exciting. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. The uh, River Ooze, um, and a Roman burial ground. All in five miles, can you believe it? <laughs> so, um, I can't. It's, uh, I'm deeply excited to be out on a beautiful autumn uh, Sunday morning. So we'll kick off. Okay. Anything else to say at this stage? No, baby. Okay, see you later. So we just left the village walking across a bit of a muddy field from all the rain. Um, so Sam, do you know we've left the village of Thorn, uh, Thornborough? Mm -hmm. Do you know what Thornborough, the name Thornborough means? You'd be shocked if I said yes. <laughs> I would. Yes. I'd be staggered. I'd be more. I'd, I'd be staggered. It basically what, no. means town. No hill, where the thorn trees grow. Isn't that nice? Oh, that is nice. It is yes. Oh, and it's a, another of this country's ancient villages. It's another one. That was uh, you can trace all the way back to the Doomsday Book, so that means obviously there's records of it that go back over a thousand years. So uh, been around for a while, it's yeah. good. Oh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to um, show you, we've uh, been walking for probably about 20 minutes, half an hour. Yeah. We've just reached um, the short section of the River Ouse that we walk along. Which leads back in that direction to, you can just about see it beyond the trees, the Thornborough Mill. A very old, although no longer working, but um, historic water mill. So we've now reached the um, uh, Buckingham Canal or what's left of it so it is disused and this is uh, as you can see uh, one of the locks what's it called Sam? Hyde Lane Lock and as Sam just said to me I don't think we can recall actually ever seeing a disused canal before so as you can see it's kind of well it's just uh, you know obviously just overgrown perfect setting as I just said to Sam for like a zombie apocalypse movie <laughs> I'll be uh, contacting my Hollywood agent with an idea <laughs> later today. So we're just taking a little stop part way through. As you can see, Sam likes to have a little bar that she's got there. <laughs> We'll probably save our lunch till we get to the end as it's quite a short walk. <laughs> so what do you think of it so far, Sam? Not the bar. <laughs> the uh, walk. Well. It's good. Does it struggle to compare to the Peak District? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I was just on the way around trying to think of what score I was going to give it at the end. Well, don't keep us in suspense till we well, get I'm there. I'm obviously not going to do that now, am I? Because that's a score we give at the end. But it is very difficult when you've just come back from somewhere where the views have been absolutely spectacular, but yeah. you don't get that around here. So. Well, you know. It's a tricky one. Don't mean. To, don't want to be harsh. Okay. Well, just going to have a look behind us. We're sharing this field with a. Luckily, a friendly bunch of uh, sheep. They're having something to eat as well. <laughs> Probably having a poo at the same time. <laughs> I hope you're not doing that, Sam. <laughs> so, we have reached Thornborough Bridge, which you can see behind us. So, um, is there any point in me saying, uh, <laughs> do you want any facts? I've, I, it's not much really, it's just, all there is to say really is, is you, it's, um, it's a medieval bridge going back to the 14th century. Oh. So it is incredibly old, yeah, and as you'll be able to, people will be able to hear in the background, obviously plenty of traffic um, yeah, close, to the, uh, close to the main road. still uh, using it today. So quite an impressive um, construction to still be in use. It's the oldest bridge in this county. Is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, easily. Yeah. Yeah. I think 14th century. Well, yeah, but... Well, there you go, you were surprised. <laughs> Impre Sam impressed by bridge. There you go, that's not something you see very often. So we're walking past now what's known as Thornborough Mounds, which um, hopefully you can make that out okay with me walking and talking, which is um, ancient Roman burial grounds dating back to 200 AD. They were excavated a couple of hundred years ago and um, all kinds of... 1839. Listen, Sam's got full of facts today. All kinds of... Um, Things were found including human remains in a glass urn. So they believe that this, um, this was quite a significant area in Roman times. Very impressive. And quite, uh, quite something to still be here now. Okay, so we're back at Thornborough, um, sat on the bench in the village green where we're just about to sit and have our lunch. So what did you think of today's walk, Sam? I thought it was a good walk, um, perfect for somebody that doesn't want to go, obviously a big, you know, a big distance, it's local. Um, a depends, lot of field Depends walking. where you live. Yeah, local to us, yes, well that's clearly what I meant. Um, yeah, a lot of field walking, which sometimes I'm not overly keen on. Um, Spud score. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Okay. Explanation or highlights? Um, don't want too much. <laughs> well, the bridge was good. I liked the facts about the bridge. Uh, we've just seen a, a lovely church. Um, okay, yeah. I'm going to say sure. then. Yeah, go on. Um, Basically, I think let's let's look at what we've covered on this walk. A water mill we don't see very often. A disused canal which you don't see very often that's been renovated by volunteers. We've walked alongside a river. We saw a heron on this village green. We've seen a uh, just showing off, Roman <laughs> burial ground. We've seen a med remains of a medieval vi village. We've seen a 14th century bridge. Um, all I want is, all, I'm, all my point being, we're only half an hour from home, and I think the fact is, very few of us are lucky enough to live in the Peak District or the Lake District. Yeah. But you, you don't have to go too far to be out somewhere. Whether you just like being out in the fresh air, or whether you like like the historical element, I think this kind of proves that you know you don't have to go far to get that. No, it's true. So it's not going to be the Peak District. It's not going to be the Lake District. But in its no. own way, it's um, deliciously it's still, charming. It is, but... <laughs> 
And 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 it has its own particular character in autumn, doesn't it? It does. Yes, it would be very different. So I'll edge a little bit up towards eight, I think. Okay, what, half a mark. Half a mark. Half a mark. Okay, that's all from us, is it? Yeah. Oh, what map are we? Oh. If people want to do this, what map do they need? So OS Explorer map one nine two. One nine two, starting in Thornborough. Um, in a loop along the River Ouse yeah, and a bit of the canal. Right you can work it out if you could look at the map. Yeah. Okay, see you one. soon. Bye.